One of the things we see in Haggai chapter 1 is the people have come back from exile and you might think it fairly understandable that, well, what are you going to do? Well, you've got to have a place to live, right? So everybody starts working on their own place. Everyone starts working on a place to live. Their own house, no one's working on the house of the Lord. And part of Haggai's message is that, hey, people, while you're doing all this stuff for your own house, what about a place for the Lord? And our verse for the day is verse 9, where the Lord, speaking through the prophet, says, You have looked for much, and lo, it came to little. And when you brought it home, I blew it away. <sighs> Why, says the Lord of hosts, because my house lies in ruins, while all of you hurry off to your own houses. And so this is part of God basically saying, Hey, what are you doing? What about me? What about my house? And, and you hear this criticism of the people of why it's so important not to neglect the temple of the Lord. And again, that's a larger spiritual issue, right? It can be very easy for any of us. We focus on our own stuff, our own house, where we live, how our things are, and we want to have nice things and everything else. And meanwhile, what about the house of the Lord? Uh, it's, it's like the old story I, I told many years ago. I used it as a radio spot about uh, a woman who had a butterball turkey in her freezer for 20 years. And she called the butterball turkey hotline and said, you know, I've got this turkey. It's been in my freezer for 20 years. You know, is it still good? And the person on the other end of the line said, well, if it's remained frozen the entire time, it's probably still safe to eat. But you know, I wouldn't recommend it because the taste is probably degraded after all these years. And the woman said, well, that's what I thought. I'll just give it to the church. That's not the kind of attitude that God is looking for, right? Of, well, we'll give God the worst thing we have that I wouldn't want to use myself and I'll get the very best for myself. And so that's part of, if you look back in chapter one, part of what God asks is, is it time for you to, yourselves to live in your paneled houses while this house lies in ruins? So, you know, people had basic shelter and now it was, oh, let's do a nice inlaid wood wall and make it all beautiful. And meanwhile, where is God? And if God is really a priority in our life, we don't want to neglect the place of where God dwells in our community. For them, it was the need to build a second temple. For us, it's our community here at Brewster Baptist Church. That This is part of why we give of our first fruits to God, as Proverbs says. It's why we want to make sure that uh, everything is taken care of uh, so that we make it clear God is a priority in our life. So don't neglect the temple of the Lord. Don't give, give God your leftovers. Give God the first fruits and the best of what you have to offer of yourself, your time, your gifts, your resources.